In this video, we are going to talk about how to read a CSV file in Google Colab from your drive, I mean from your computer, in Python programming language using the pandas package. So please stay tuned. So first of all, you should go to google.com and remember that you should have login to your Google account, to your email, and here you should click on this icon, which is Google Apps. And then you should go to Google Drive. You should click on this in order to go to Google Drive. And as you can see, here is my Google Drive. So I want to create a folder, let's say called Dataset. So I click on this new button and I click on new folder. And I want to name that folder Dataset. And I press the create button. So you can see the folder has been created. So I double click on it in order to open that folder. And here is my data set, which is the iris data set. So you can see it is the iris data set, which I want to read this iris data set in Google Colab. So I should drag this and I should drop it here in order to start uploading this file. So you can see the uploading process has been successful. So let's close this. And now in Google, you should simply type Google Colab. So you should search for Google Colab. And here is the link, colab.research.google.com. You should click on it. And again, remember that you should have login to your Google account, which we have talked in the beginning of this video. So now I want to create a new notebook. So I click on this. So now in order to read that CSV file, first let's talk about the easier way. The easier way is to click on this files button and then you should click on this which says mount drive. I mean mount your Google Drive. So you should click on this and it asks you whether you want to permit this notebook to access your Google Drive or not. So I want to connect that to my Google Drive. So I click on this and it asks me the Google account which I want to use. So here is my Google account. And now we can see that it is mounting the Google Drive. So that's it, you can see it has been mounted. So I should click on this. And again, I should click on this. And here we can see I have a folder called dataset which we have created. So I click on it. And now we can see here is our CSV file. So I right click on it. And I should copy the path because we need it for reading our data set. So now we should import pandas as pd. So we import pandas as pd. So let's zoom in a little bit. So we import pandas as pd. Let's run the code. And you can see it has been run. So now let's insert a code block below this cell. And now I want to read that CSV file. So the path of that CSV file is this which I have copied. So I have pressed control V in order to paste the path which we have copied here. So that's it. And now I want to read that CSV file. So I simply type pd.readcsv and I should pass the path variable. So that's it. And I store that in a variable, let's say called df. And now I want to see, for example, the first five rows. So I simply type df.head and I pass five, I mean five rows, the first five rows. So if I run this code block, you can see here's the output, which is our iris data set. And now let's talk about the second method. In order to do so, first of all, you should click on runtime and then you should disconnect and delete runtime because you want to restart all the thing. So here I should click on yes. And you can see it has been restarted and also we want to delete this output. So I click on this, that's it. So as a matter of fact, we have restarted all this stuff. So now I want to mount our Google Drive with a piece of code. So let's insert a code block here. So I click on this in order to insert a code block. So here I should simply type from google.colab. I want to import the drive and then I'm going to mount that drive on and I should pass the path in order to mount our Google Drive. So the path is content, I mean our files, and I want to mount that to the Google Drive. So that's it. And here I should press the run button. So 
So now you can see it asks me in order to permit the notebook to access my Google Drive. So I click on connect to Google Drive. And here is the Google account which I want to connect. And it says it needs these things to access and I press allow. And you can see the mounting process has been successful. So now I run this code block. And as you can see, the path is exactly the same because it is in my drive. And also it is in my drive and it is in the dataset folder and it is here. So again, the path is exactly the same. And now I click on this in order to run this code block. And you can see here is the output. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.